Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you new ways to wear your button-up shirts. Um, I think all of us have blouses. Um, I started actually buying mine pretty oversized, so it gives options of like different ways to wear them. So the first way we're going to talk about today is you have like your basic, sorry this side's really wrinkled because I've been nodding it different ways, so I promise I don't go out in public like that. <laughs> but um, anyways, okay, so your first way, I love this for the um, beach or like if you're just want like kind of like a sun look. Um, button it down to about where your pants button is or if you want to show a little midriff, um, you can go like one button higher. And I like to um, do just the basic front knot. And I do a double tie and then just kind of fan out the pieces a little bit. So that's an easy first way. Ta-da! Look one. Tie one. Second way is... Let's untie that before the other side gets wrinkled. <laughs> Uh-oh. Might be too late. Okay. The other way, I actually saw this at Fashion Week and I love this look. Um, it's a little more fashion forward. Um, is just tying one side. It looks super cute, especially if you have like a longer layer behind it. Um, like if you have like a long trench coat to pair with it. Um, you want to pull, like sometimes when I'm knotting it, I don't get the knot like deep enough. So make sure that you have, are knotting deep enough so you get a tail. Because if you don't, it'll look kind of funny. But then when paired with a trench and you have like a side shot, you get this just little knot detail, which I love. It's just like a point of interest to your outfit. Why you have this up too, another really easy one, is the half tuck. This isn't anything new and special. Everybody loves the half tuck. <laughs> it's really easy. But again, just another super really easy way and a great thing for layering. Just throw a layer on and then you still have this collar. Or if you pair a sweater with it, it's really cute because then you just have this tail hanging out and it looks really good. So the last one, sorry, I'm going to cut for one second while I take my shirt off or why I switch my shirt. <laughs> okay, now here's the trickery, guys. So this is the same shirt. It's actually on backwards. Now, um, really easy. I literally just tied the back. And I'm going to do a double knot here. Ah, here's, can I tie a knot without looking? Um, Ta-da. And now here's an option. I like having like a little slit that you can show your back. But you can also totally button this up um, if you want to close it up. But I like the little back detail. And then I just kind of fold the front here so that um, it kind of just looks like it's a waistband. And again, um, you want to go up here so it has that neck collar. But I mean, a totally different way to wear your button-up shirt. And it looks like a whole new shirt. And there you have it, four ways to wear your basic button-up blouse. So leave me a comment, let me know which one is your favorite. I'm so excited to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching.